No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. John 15, 15 through 17. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. I thank you, Lord, for your word and your grace and mercy and hope in this word. I just release it right now to bear fruit in my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. <laughs> it's been a long time. A long time. I've been practicing on my writing skills, and they are getting better. I'm a, I'm a slow kind of guy. It takes me a long time to get something really accomplished. And although I haven't really gotten it accomplished, it is getting better. And so this morning, it's time to step out and release a video to go along with the word this morning. And, uh, you know, it's not just about being friends with Jesus. It's about being a son of the Most High God. But it's about being intimate. Intimate with the Father, intimate with the Son, intimate with the Holy Spirit. And we are intimate because we are born again, because He lives within us. He can't get any closer than that. And I believe we abide in Him, we are hidden in Him, the Word declares. Glory. And uh, I do have a definition for intimate this morning. It's belonging to or characterizing one's deepest nature. We characterize Christ's nature on earth. We are the kingdom of heaven at a hand. He was and is the nature of the kingdom of heaven. The very nature of that. And within us dwells that very nature. And as we go from glory to glory, as we begin to grow and step out and release, we become that nature. We become more intimately involved with the Lord. And it's, and it's also marked by a very close association, contact, or familiarity. We, um, we are in contact. We are familiar with what God's saying. Are we stepping out and doing what we're supposed to do? Are we doing what the Word says? The Word doesn't say go out and beat up people. The Word says go out and bring life. Fruit, bear fruit, that it might abide. What's going to abide? The good news, the gospel, that you can be set free. <laughs> Glory. Glory. We are intimate with the Father through Jesus. We are Holy Spirit. Glory. We have to believe that. We have to walk in that. We have to begin to celebrate who we are in Christ Jesus. Because last night at the home meeting, I'm just going to stop for a second. Last night at the home meeting, it was awesome. God was moving. And... Uh, you know, given the, given the distinction between humility, we have to be humble before the Lord, and humiliation, saying we're a worm, we're no good, we're not worthy, and, and coming into agreement with what other people have may, maybe have said throughout the years. But being humble before God so He can raise you up is coming into agreement that, yes, I do have prophetic abilities, and I can step out in those things as I practice them. Yes, I can walk in discernment. Yes, I can release the love of God. Yes, I am a fruit tree destined to bear good fruit. <laughs> and I can love my brothers and sisters. Um, I really believe <clears throat> that, that uh, on an intimate level, God wants you to know yourself. <laughs> Not look at your bad points, okay? We don't want to look at our bad points. We want to overcome our bad points. We don't want to dwell on them. We want to move forward from them. But uh, how can you love somebody else if you can't love yourself? How can you forgive somebody else if you can't forgive yourself? How can you go to somebody and say, Hey, you're special. God has called you special if you can't believe that about yourself. We have to... We have to basically allow God to change our mindsets about who we are so we can look at other people in that fashion. If I look at myself in a poor light, I'm going to look at most other people in a poor light. If I see myself in a good, hopeful way, I'm going to begin to reflect that on other people, and they're going to feel that from me. Amen? 
At any rate, I just want to say thanks for coming and sitting with me this morning. It's been a good word, and and uh, feels good to come back and just share what God's speaking to me. Have an awesome day. I thank you, Lord God, for your word and your grace and your mercy. I just pray, Lord God, that the words that I spoke, my flesh would drop to the ground, and whatever you have to release in life, Holy Spirit, let it flow. Let it, let it expand, Lord God. Let it overcome mindsets that don't, that don't walk in that light. Let us be released in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, get along with the Lord. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye.